out the gym. You can't play. You got to think, I just lost the game, and I'm playing next, and then I'm playing next again and all that, and you ain't playing. Get out. It's like, why you, why you got to be mean, bro? Get out. Get out the, get out the gym. My nigga, I'm, I be, look, I'm a nice person, bro. But sometimes y'all niggas be flexing y'all power. And like, y'all be saying shit that y'all don't even be thinking about. Get out the whole gym. So boom, he went and stood outside the, the gym door. I said, no, 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 no. Get out the gym, like out the whole 24, go home. Yeah, walked out the gym, got in his little BMW and drove off. I ain't seen bro at the gym since. Bro, like, my nigga, like, why have y'all convinced y'all that y'all are native to this land? Like, it bothers me when motherfuckers be like, you need to go back to your country, go back to Africa. Nigga, you need to go back to where the fuck you came from. The fuck you mean go back? Who are you? The fuck you mean go? Look, my nigga. <laughs> look, look, bro. Y'all niggas got to chill with this go back to your country shit, my nigga. What made y'all think that y'all belong here? Like, no, 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 let's, let's keep it real. Like, let's be honest. What made you believe that you belong? What type of trickery, reverse psychology that you didn't put yourself under this weird spell that you belong here and we don't? My nigga, look, if, if anybody know me and y'all know who I am, if y'all ever around me in person, I'm a very nice person, bro. I'm super nice. I don't never bother nobody. I don't never flare up with nobody. I just, I'm chill, bro. But like, in Orange County, niggas be sneak dissing. I remember one dude was like, bro, you just mad because I look better than you. And I was like, why you say that? He was like, well, I'm pretty sure if we get on my Snapchat and I ask all my friends who look better, they're going to say me. I said, bro, go to your Snapchat. I scrolled through his list. It was all Caucasian people. Said a fucking course, you dumbass nigga. The fuck? I said, you know what? Yeah, you could look better than me. You could have that. But it's 95 degrees outside. Let's go sit on the bench. You could look better than me. You had that. But it's 95 degrees outside. So let's both go outside and sit on the bench and have this conversation. Let's go sit on the bench and have this conversation. Let's talk for about two, three hours on the bench. You'll be all right, right? You'll be okay, won't you? He looked at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 let's go outside. Let's go outside and talk outside. No, don't, don't sit in the shade. Do not try to sit in the shade. Let's go stand right here by the car. It's 12 o'clock. sun is at its peak. Let's go stand by the car. So we go outside. He's standing by the car. Man, he panicking. He's like, yo, it's hot, bro. I'm like, my nigga, it's not even that hot. Why you sweating? You all right? He's like, yo, bro. Bro, let's get in the car, bro. Bro, no, just stay right here. Chill. Bro, nigga started getting red. <laughs> Niggas start panicking, niggas start breathing hard, looking around. Let's go back in the gym, my nigga. I ain't trying to kill your bitch ass. But look, um, like I said, bro, I'm a nice person, bro. Everybody knows that I'm a nice person. But y'all niggas got to stop. Y'all got to stop sneak dissing, bro. Y'all be like sneak dissing with this racist shit. Like sneak racist dissing, bro. Y'all got to chill. Like one time a nigga, like I, I remember I dunked. 
So what I'm doing is like, you know, it's crazy because like all blacks are athletic. Like you guys are like monkeys. Oh my God. Right? And I was like, wait, what? He's like, no, nah, like not in like a racist way, but like, you know, and I'm like, wait, what you mean? You know what? Like, what you talking about? You're like, you know, like, like not like that, bro. But like, wait, what you talking about, bro? Not like what? All right. All right, so check this out, my nigga. <laughs> Since you want to sneak this, I got you. So boom, right? We playing basketball. I tell my man, set the hard pick to the right. You know, come come back door and I'm going to set the pick. Bitch, you ever seen Warren Sapp? Bitch, I said a Warren Sapp pick. Bitch, I'm talking about all shoulder nigga. I dove into his bitch ass. He damn near had a concussion. Nigga broke his collarbone and all type of shit, bitch. Oh, my bad. It's an accident. Yeah, bro, you know, I was, I came around to pick. And, you know, shit, bro, I feel bad for I'm sorry, bro. I'm on ground bluffing it up, bro. I'm, I'm so sorry, bro. Like, yo, if there's anything I could do, bro, just let me know they carry him, bro, out on the stretcher. He holding his shoulder. I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry, bro. You feel me? I'm just like, I can't help it when I'm like a monkey. Like, like you know, monkeys are strong. We don't really know what we're doing. My bad, bro. As he was walking out the gym, I started singing, Bitch, I'm King Kong. Bitch, I'm King Kong. Uh, bitch, I'm King Kong. Uh, bitch, I'm King Kong. Uh, you feel me, nigga? Bitch ass nigga. But look, like, I believe black people should start being racist. I believe we should walk outside and be racist. Like, like I think we should be racist. I think that's something that we got to imply into our world. Like, I think black people should walk outside and go, nigga, go back to your country or wherever the fuck you came from. I think we should start, like, acting like that. I think we should wake up and press issues every day. Like, every day we go outside, nigga, what you doing over here? Who, who, how you get here? Go back to your country. What is it, Mimi? Go, doggy, go. Go, doggy, go. You want some shit? Black people got every right in the world to be full racist. We, we got, we ain't no, we, we, bro, I just dropped my son off at school, bro. Right? He got this little art class that I take him to. Just dropped him off. It's all white people there. Right? I be sitting there thinking about this shit like, yo, they really came here, build a foundation in the ecosystem for them to survive on a land that really ain't there. But they came, they didn't come here and just like, make a way they brought armies they brought disease they brought plague they brought all type of shit fucked over everybody that was indigenous then built the world for themselves terraform they even got people thinking indians ain't black like what type of fuck shit is this they got people thinking indians they got people thinking indians is something else Bro, shut up. Bro, like, when you really think about this, they terraforming the whole you, everything, bro. Bro, I be going to the beach and I be like, how these white people got all these houses at the beach? How y'all get this? 
How y'all got all these billion dollar houses? If you drive around United if you drive around California, we talking about around the Pacific Coast Highway, there is million dollar houses from San Diego all the way to motherfucking Humboldt County. How y'all get all of this? How did y'all get all these billions of dollars of houses? Is how? Y'all damn sure didn't work hard for it. This is colonization. This is conquer. Conquer. That shit stimulates from army, war, vet, all type of conquer. You drive down PCH, bitch, you gonna see billions of million dollar houses. How y'all get it? Y'all took it. You know what's crazy? The word minority. I'm the word minority. Yo, it's kind of fucked up, bro. It's kind of real fucked up. But it is what it is. So. Uh, I'm not saying. Wait, hold on. Let me. Damn, I can't even reach over there. What? I was going to plug it up to the charger. I'm going to go over with the my little couch bed. Marty, come here. Marty, what? can you close this door for me? Huh? Can you close the door for me? Right? I'm not saying that white people don't struggle. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that every white person don't have a struggle. There's a lot of struggle in white people. Have you been to Africa and seen the homeless white people? You ever been to Africa and seen the ghetto? You know, they got white people in the ghetto in Africa. Like, it's like a ghetto area where all the little boom hickets and Clay, just come give me the raccoons. It's a little area like that in Africa. And then those right, those people trying to fight for equal rights, but the African government came and put all they dumb ass out. Get out of here. Stop trying to swindle y'all way into our world. Get out. Clay, this you and your dumb ass raccoon. Get the fuck out of here. Right? But no, right? Like, you know, like, there's a lot of struggle in Caucasian people. But if I was Caucasian, I'd be rich as a bitch. If you a struggling Caucasian nigga, you an idiot. That means you ain't taking advantage of your white link. If you struggling Caucasian... I mean, you clearly ain't taking advantage of the white thing. Bitch, if I was white, my nigga, I'd be a zillionaire. Bitch, I'd wake up, use all my white abilities. Hey, Brad. Yeah? You want to play towel, ass slap, balls, dick grab? And we can film it and put it online. And then more white people will buy it. You want to play dick grab? You know, because dick grab is completely cool in the Caucasian community. You play dick grab? Let's tie our nuts to a string and then run separate ways. You know, it's this weird thing that, you know, Caucasian people got with, like, doing shit to their genitals. You know, Brad, yo, I'm, like, totally down for that. Man, you can't even get your homies to film that. Imagine being black talking about, hey, hey, Taekwon, uh, you feel me? Me and Lil JJ, we came up with this idea, cuz. Taekwon, like, man, what you on? 
Like, all right, check this out, my nigga. It might sound gay. It might sound a little gay, my nigga, at first. But, nigga, it ain't. Nigga, just think about it. All right, check this out, right? So, JJ, he going to tie a string, right? I ain't going to tell you what he going to tie it on. But, little JJ going to tie a string. I'm going to tie a string. We going to run. You want to film it? I don't know, my nigga. Like, that shit low-key weird. Nah, nigga, just cut the camera on. So then, as soon as a nigga see you tying the string onto you, oh, on no, the set, y'all niggas doing gay shit. No, I'm cool. On oh, my mama, I'm good. I'm not never filming this. What's wrong with y'all? Never. I'm not never about to film y'all doing this. You crazy. That's gay. Oh, hell, man. I'm about to call somebody else and tell them y'all want to... Hey, man, these niggas over here filming gay shit. I'm not. I ain't fucking with bro no more. Oh, my mama keep playing with me. Man, what you... Nigga, stop playing with me. Bro, that's how... Bro, that's how black people... Bro, we we got this thing that's like... It's like a hood cold thing that it limits us from being... Bro... The black thing, it limits us. It, like, we, like, limited from doing things. Like, we don't never want to look like a like a weirdo in the world. But when you white, you don't have that stigmatism. You could do anything. See, when you black, if you do anything uncool, the whole black community will turn on you. Oh, man, he weird. Your own family will turn on your mama. Be you be calling mama. What's good? Uh, dan, dan, dan. You have reached number that has been disconnected. Apparently, you have been too weird for the family reunion, so you are no longer a part of the Campbells. Man, black people, I outcast your ass ASAP for being weird. The word weird in the black thing, you can't be weird. Oh hell no, man, you weird. It ain't even weird. You know, because white people say, hey, he's weird. In the black community, man, he weird. This is W-I-D. Weird. Man, it's the weird ass out there. Weird ass nigga. He just weird. What's wrong with him? He weird. In the black community, man, the weird ass nigga. What's wrong with him? He crazy. He weird. Right? When you white, bro, you can do anything. Bro, when you white, bro, you could do anything, my nigga. You could get away with all the weird shit. My nigga, like, if I was white, bro, like, if I was white, like, I would really, like, just, I would start, like, a company called Ball String Company, right? It's like a, it's like a yo-yo for your wiener. So you, like, tie a, a string around your wiener. And then, like, <laughs> and then you tie the other part around your ear. And then when you listen to music, your wiener, like, White people will buy that. White people will buy that. That's hard in the white community. That's like a that's like a crazy invention. Then you put your little infomercial on the TV by three in the morning. Hello, it is I from the creators of ShamWow. Today we bring you the ball string. Dan, 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 dan. If you order now, you receive two ball strings. With a coffee, whatever. Call now, we'll give you two ball strings. You feel me? And white people will eat that ball string up. Look at a few. Look, nigga just hit me in the DM. Yo, they like. If you ever make the ball string thing, I'll buy one. Look, niggas already trying to buy the ball string. Bro, let me tell you how 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 much money you can make being white, all right? When you a chef, 
when you a chef as a black chef, man, you got to cook big old plates, neck bones, hog maws, big fat wet burrito, chicken enchilada, chicken, all type of shit. When you a white chef, you could put a little string bean, one string bean, some sauce, and literally a two inch steak. And you could sell a bitch for 5000 a plate. Just name it, name your restaurant something exclusive. Benjashiyaz. Hello, thank you for coming to Benjashiyaz where we serve the finest of steaks. And you have a two inch steak, one string bean with some sauce splattered on the plate and a nice design with a flower at the end. Hundred dollars a plate. Bro, you white nigga, crazy, bro. My nigga, when you white, bro, like, you could get the bag. Y'all niggas, bro, I swear, my nigga. Now I see why Michael Jackson, Sammy Sosa, and all of them got up out of the black thing. Bro. And you know what's crazy? You'll go to the restaurant, you see white person, get the knife, cut the two-inch steak, take one bite of the steak, Wipe they face with the napkin. Like, oh, dude. Pretty full today. What? Bitch, I didn't even know what a napkin was till I was about 22. The fuck you mean, bitch? You better lick your motherfucking fingers. What's wrong with you? I remember I got my ass whooped for wiping some barbecue sauce on the napkin one time. I remember one time when I got my mom came in the house. I was eating some barbecue. I had a napkin. Boy, don't you ever waste all that motherfucking barbecue sauce, bitch. You know how much time it took me to cook these ribs. My mama whooped my motherfucking ass. What? Fuck you, me. You go, you go. You ever see white people eat? Like, bruh, you gonna waste all of that sauce on the napkin? What's wrong with you? My nigga, you ever go to like TGIF Fridays or something and see a white couple eating? And then they, you be like, damn, they got a lot of food, right? Then you, like, you know, you, you, you happen to go to the bathroom and you come back and that, that table gone, but you look at the table like, bruh, it's a whole half burger over there. Wait, what? You ever look at like a white person table after they, like, bruh, y'all are tripping, tripping. Bro, y'all are tri- my nigga, that's enough food for a nigga to eat for about five weeks. Y'all tripping, tripping. My nigga, I remember one time, it was like a whole half a rib over there. I'm, my nigga, you know, I, I got money now. You feel me? I'm okay now. I'm financially stable. But, like, I still got a hood type of mentality in me. You feel me? I'm still for the hood. So, you know, my mind be thinking, you know, because when we was kids, we didn't have nothing. So leftovers was like, you feel me? You see, like, you if you from the hood, you ever notice, like, you go to the refrigerator about 2 in the morning, your brother didn't left, like, something in there. Man, you got to scarf on that. You ever wake up in the morning, man, who ate my stuff? Man, I don't know. You feel me? You wake up in the morning, man, somebody ate my chicken. I mean, I don't know who ate that. What? So, bam, right? When you, like, naturally, right? This is just a natural instinct in me. When I be at, like, TGIF Fridays or, like, any one of these, like, Denny's or some type of shit, and I be seeing, like, leftover plates, like, naturally in my heart, I be wanting to like find a way to scarf some of the food. Like, like this is, I, bro, I grew up with nothing. So like naturally I'd be like, my mind automatically be like, all right, I should just ask him for a to-go box. Then I should like throw my phone over there by accident and then go over there. Like I'm looking for my phone and then just like scrape one of them burgers in my to-go. I be thinking like that, my nigga. Even though I got food now, like, I'm from the hood. So, like, my thing of not having nothing be thinking like that. I be like, man. Oh, toys. My mama, they just going to, like. Bro, you ever you ever go to one of these expensive restaurants, my nigga, with all these super high up white people? 
A nigga, they be leaving whole meals on the man. What's wrong with y'all? Crazy. Y'all, cr they be leaving whole plates. How you take one bite and then wipe your face with a napkin and be ready to go? Can I get the bill? Wait, what? How you asking for the bill already? You took one bite. What's wrong with you? Crazy. Man, one white people be leaving whole meals on the table. I'm going to keep it real. I stole a chicken wing one time. Nigga ordered some buffalo wings one time. He had about seven wings on the plate. Shit, nigga. I walked by the bathroom, my nigga. I just scraped one off the table with the little backside in. Wham! You feel me? But I, I said, bro, I ain't no shame in my game, my nigga. I'm real as it come. I can't. Sometimes you can't just let a nigga just leave all that food. You can't, my nigga. <laughs> Well, nigga, you can't just, like, like, in your ghetto heart, you can't just let a nigga just leave all that food on the table. You just can't, my nigga. You got to scoop one of them. You got, wham. You got to, my nigga. But no, nah, bro, like, like, bro, like, my nigga, if I was white, I would look. Let me tell y'all something. I'm a, here's here's a way. If you a if you a lower class white person and you ain't got enough money, here's a way that you could make a lot of money within one year. I'm gonna give you a whole full rundown as a Caucasian person that could be rich in one year. You have to get your phone. You got everybody phone got iMovie on it. You could download iMovie if you got a MacBook or whatever. So you start filming, you wake up and you, you create a movie or a documentary called Life as a White Man. And you got to do all the white shit. <laughs> you got to do all the white shit on purpose. Like, boom. Oh, just waking up. Uh, feels good to be white. You walk outside, right? You say hi to the police. Hello, officer. Police going to wait to you. Hello. You feel me? Wait to the police. Oh, hi, what's up? Boom, boom. Feel me? Walk in the house. Boom, you go in there, cook breakfast, eat your bunk ass, sunny side up eggs. <laughs> eat your bunk ass, sunny side up eggs. Man, what's wrong with y'all? So, bam, right? You go cook your sunny side ups. Bam, oh, it's gonna have a beautiful day. Get your sunny side ups. Bam, get your fresh squeezed orange juice. Bam, bam, bam. Walk outside after you eat your sunny side ups, bullshit. Bam. Go outside, boom, you happy. Wham, wham, wham. Right? And then you gotta check the forecast, because you know you gotta check the forecast, because you know you gotta really check the forecast to be safe. So you check the forecast, bam, bam, you go, oh, it's gonna be 95 degrees a day, oh, I know exactly what to do for that. Bam, right? So then this how you do it, this was gonna make it funny. So bam, you go get you go get literally about a hundred bottles of suntan lotion, you fill up the whole bathtub with it. Right? You know like the amount of water that you put in the tub, you gotta put the amount of suntan lotion in the tub. So bam, right? You gonna take like a nice suntan lotion bath, but you in the bath. Whew, shit gonna feel good when I go outside. So bam, you cover it complete suntan lotion, bam. Then you go outside, you lit, you outside, you look like a pale white dragon, Yu-Gi-Oh, but bam, right, you outside, you got all your suntan lotion on, you outside, bam, 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 wham, wham, right, then you walk by a bunch of black people, you go, oh, hello brothers, yo, hey, not to jump subjects, but why white people think it's always cool to call a black person brother? That hey black people that don't bother you when you get when you get you ever be in line right you ever be in like a cash register line and then the white people it be somebody in front of you white and then be like oh yeah thank you and then would come to you his whole head is, hello brother bro what you talking about what what you that's racist I think brother mean nigger or something. 
like I like I I'm I swear I think brother is like in their mind that mean black person nigger. Hello, brother. I'll be like Uh Okay. Nigga try to have a conversation about some shit that's clearly not a white conversation. Like, yeah, you know, apparently like the hip hop fest. You familiar with the hip hop? Bruh, stop trying to make small talk with me and ring up my damn order for a beat your ass. Fuck wrong with you. But anywho, let's go back to the the, the greatest documentary in the world. The white, the white documentary. So boom, right? So after you got your son tan lotion, boom, you walk with your bunch of black person. That's the first year. Like, hey, brother, so you guys want to play some basketball? Because you know you guys like basketball, right? <laughs> but you got to walk up to some niggas that clearly look like they don't play basketball at all. <laughs> hey, brothers, you guys want to play some basketball? Because I know you guys like basketball. <laughs> right? No, no, none of you guys play basketball. All right, fine with me. No, more for me. More jump shots for me. <laughs> Right, bam. So then you're like, all right. Well, that's enough time for me to hit the beach. Then you go to the beach, boom, you get your little surfboard. You don't really got to know how to surf, but you be out there surfing with your little surfboard. Bam, bam, bam. Cause you know, black people can't surf. Like, that's like a no-no. You know that, right? You know black people can't surf. Like, it's not that we can't, we don't know how. It's just like... In the black community, nigga, that's like being gay. Like, surfing is equivalent to being clear gay. Like, you got some niggas that'd be like, nigga, I'll be gay before I surf. Nigga, you crazy. Bro, you got some niggas that'd be like, bro, I'll be, nigga, surfing? Oh. Hell no. Fuck, I look like surfing, nigga. I'm a real nigga out here. I'm like a real nigga in the half, nigga. Fuck, I look like surfing. Right? Yeah, I don't think that. Bro. You will. What? Alright, you gotta wait till I get off. But no, boom. So, bam, you go surf after you finish surfing, right? Then you finish surfing, you get off your surfboard, bam, and walk in the house. Oh, honey. Oh, it looks like we're not going to have anything to eat today. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> right. So, boom. Well, we just got to find something to eat. Remind you, you filming all of this, right? You filming everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Did you film it, bro, right? Then you go outside. You go back outside. Once you go outside, you walk to the nearest liquor store, right? But you always got to go in the liquor store when black people go in the liquor store. Don't go in there by yourself. You got to wait to see some black people in the liquor store. When you go in there, you see black people in there. That's your cue to steal. Because, you know, all the cameras going to be on the black people. So, when you see all the black people to the left, you go to the right. And once you go to the right, nigga, you pocket all the ribs, all the meats, the deli meats. <laughs>